So, more good action there with Stu. We're now at um, Weatherby. This is my final port of call for the week. And we've got the Moors Millions leg 12. Now, this is a four and a half mile version. And the top one is Arkaleo, Obi Wan, Great Matt Graham, Clutterbuck, the Zanaday, Maniana, Darren Thompson, Fast Boy, David Robertson, Let Your Mind Martin Leader, Macarena, Paul Rhodes, Double First, Kevin Meenahan, Pray for a Miracle, Joshua Sutherland, Bright New Dawn, Daniel French, Olivia Grace, Darren Howes, Elfberg, James Follis, 118, Molly at Surfer, No Half, Derek Hinton, Wild Coco, Dog Warren, Eck here, Alex Cherry, Ellis Porn, Carl Aragante, and Comanche Stu Gray. So 17 of them then, Pigfield, and away they go. And start on a bend, and those two that have been a little bit inconvenienced by that are Zenade Manana and Fast Boy, but there's plenty of time to make up the ground lost, so I don't think it's too much of an issue. And a Wild Coco looks to be the first one to show. They've got 31 fences to take in this, so a stiff test of jumping one more fence than the Grand National and I'm sure quite a few of these horses will be heading there in just two weeks time it's quite amazing to think isn't it that we're at that point of the season already where we're only two weeks away from the Grand National we've got Cheltenham next week and they get to the first and let's see how they all get over it looks like they're all going to get over it nicely they do indeed and we'll have a big four mile race at Cheltenham next week as well and some of these will probably be in that one as they stream over that plus of course it's a cross country race at Cheltenham and uh, maybe one or two trainers being a bit crafty and not running next week because they don't want their handicap marks to go up too much and there's a faller there there's a faller gone at the third and it's Arcaleo the horse is now racing towards the fourth and over that one the Grand Clutterbuck horse made a mistake so too did the one in the black towards the back that was Macarena for Paul Rhodes the Grand Clutterbuck horse that made the mistake was Great Mac it's just a one entry races they take the water and they're all safely over that one past the big screen past the post and they've got a few more circuits to go yet three more i think and wild coco on the inside is just the leader from double first in second and no half in third in ellis porn and great mac with 180 just behind that one and pray for a miracle on the inside and bright new dawn and comanche macarena's recorded from that mistake let your mind is after that one then Eck here and oliver grace Oliver Grace, Olivia Grace, and Elfberg is after that one, with Zenade Manana and Fast Boy, still the back marker, so Fast Boy will have to live up to his name maybe a bit later on, he's going to make up the 25 lengths or so he is behind the leader at this stage, and he's got well over three miles still to do it, and as they come down to the sixth, stream over that one down on his nose towards the back was Olivia Grace and that was down on her nose and Wild Coco's the leader from no half and double first as they take the seventh and all over that one okay as well with Wild Coco the leader double first second the grey no half is third down his pawn as they take the next so over that one will jump that one well Zenodo Magnard is also towards the back so to his elf Bergen Eck here Quite well strung out. And they've got more than three miles still to go as they come down to the ninth. We'll take that one okay. With Wild Coco continuing to lead. But only marginally from double first in second. And this pawn appears to be running in a red cap on the outside. Which was supposed to be running in a red cap, but it is. And um Great Mac is towards that one's inside, so. Wild Coco the leader then, from double first in second, and no half is third, Great Mac is fourth, Bright New Dawn is fifth, and Ellis Paul is sixth, then Let Your Mind at 180, and Pray for a Miracle, and then Macarena, and then Comanche and Olivia Grace, Eck here, and Zenade Manana, Fast Boy, has now got past Elfberg, who is the new back marker, as they continue on this run towards the next fence then, and Wild Coco takes the tenth fence in the lead. Over it they go, and the order's pretty much as you were. Elfberg made another mistake at the back, and has dropped back a couple of lengths afterwards. So they take it, let's see how Elfberg gets over that one, got over it okay. And Wild Coco's opened up by a couple of lengths now, to double first in second, as they take this ditch. And they're all clearing that one pretty well. Well, I'll have to say Elfberg does appear to be getting a little bit detached now, and We'll be concerned at how much longer that one's going to remain in the race. It's a faller there. Something's gone. No half's gone. So no half is out of the race. That's Derek Hinton's horse on the deck. As they come up and take the water jump in front of the stands. Uh, we'll be over that one. Okay, there goes 
Hilfsburg. And off they go all the way around again, chaps. Another twice to go yet. There's the crowd waving them on. All facing the right way today. And Ellis Pawn has now come through to take the lead. From Wild Coco in second. And Great Mac and Double first. Little gap then to pray for a miracle. He's on the inside of the loose horse, Macarena just behind him, then 180 and let your mind and bright new dawn. Little gap to Eck here and Comanche. Then Fast Boy has got up on the inside of Olivia Grace. Zella de Manana is the back marker of the, that main group, and Elfberg is some way detached. And I'll be surprised if he carries on for much longer. So Ellis Pawns the leader then. And about three quarters of a length to take this next one. And over that one they go. towards the next there with Ellis Paul on the outside of Wild Coco. And great Mac and Macarena, another mistake. So today Manana's getting closer. There's Elfberg, so he's still going round Elfberg. So when Zenaday Manana is giving up the ghost though and is calling it quits for the day. So we'll see that one again till next week. And now Elfberg's given up as well. So Elfberg and Zenaday Manana, the two at the back are out of the race. And fast boy. The other one who was a little bit detached at the start. He's going to be close. That's another one gone down there. There's a fall there. That's Ellis Pawn's gone. So Ellis Pawn is out. And the casualties are starting to mount now. And they've still got two miles to race just about. And Wild Coco is in front. From double first in second and Great Mac in third. Then a gap to Macarena and Pray for a Miracle. Then Let Your Mind and Bright New Dawn together with 180. Travelling nicely, fast boys getting closer. Then Olivia Grace and Nick here, and Comanche is now the back marker, but no more than 15 lengths off the leader. And Wild Coco in front. Well, double first for Kevin Miller. And Kevin Miller's had a good week this week, seen quite a few of his horses winning and getting placed. So, running into form just in time for Cheltenham as they take the 19th. And Comanche made a mistake at the back. Wild Coco will lead them into the 20th. And the Wild Coco that led them into it, but it's double first that leads them out of it with a much better jump on the outside. And double first is now in front by about three quarters of a length to take this ditch. Wild Coco on the inside will get over it okay. All the remaining horses jumped it well. And double first is the leader from Wild Coco in second as they come to this next one. And over that one they all go as well. And they'll be racing down towards the Water jump, which they won't take on the final circuit, of course, which is the last time they'll take the water. And they're all over that one, okay. And now they'll race off for one more circuit of the track. And double first is the leader from Wild Coco. Then Great Mac Macarena, Pray for a Miracle and Bright New Dawn. And let your mind and fast boy. Here and 180, then Olivia Grace after that one, and then Comanche. Yeah, just a mile to go, then. And double first is the leader from Wild Coco in second. Great Mac is third, Macarena is fourth. Then comes Fast Boy, Pray for a Miracle, Let Your Mind Eck here, and Bright New Dawn, Olivia Grace. 180 and Comanche as they come through to the 24th and they all skip over that one nicely as well including the back marker Comanche and you wouldn't rule any of these out yet Double First and Wild Coco have been up in the lead quite a long way and a mistake there by Double First and we get down to the business end of the race and look at this fast boy around the outside the one that was but at the start has jumped into the lead so fast boy takes it up then fast boy then in front now then with less than six furlongs to race fast boy from wild coco then double first and pray for a miracle then macarena then great mac then 180 let your mind an egg here as they take the 27th and over that one they go they're all safely over that one as well and fast boy has suddenly gone five clear Fast Boy being pushed on now and extending his lead, being chased now by Pray for a Miracle in second. The early leaders, Pray for a um, double first and Wild Coco beginning to drop back a bit. Macarena looks one place to Livia Grace. He's trying to run on. So too is um, Eck here and let your mind then 180 on the outside. But Fast Boy is clear by about six or seven lengths to double first and Pray for a Miracle. Then Wild Coco. 
Fast boy clearing the lead then. I think they've got four more to take. That's the fourth last, and Fast Boy got over it well from double first. Then Pray for a Miracle, then Wild Coco down towards the third last. A slower jump by the leader, but he's well clear of double first. Pray for a Miracle, Wild Coco, Great Macca 118. Fast Boy looks like he's only got to get over these last two fences. Fast Boy gets over the second last. He's eight lengths clear. He's not putting on a tremendous performance considering the ground he lost at the start. Comes to the final fence. Is he going to take it okay? Pops over it. And look at this. He's eight to ten lengths clear of double first and pray for a miracle and up towards the line half the Herbert's in the crowd are facing the wrong way again and fast boy is going to take this one by 10 lengths to double first pray for a miracle wild coco then it here and great mac and the last one to finish was bright noon dawn and a very interesting race there because fast boy has won the race for david robertson at ludlow and i think this race should have been run at weatherby so that could be quite interesting. Fast boy takes it for David Robertson. David first for giving me now. Second, pray for a miracle. Joshua Sutherland third. While Coco was fourth for Doug Warren. Eck here was fifth for Alex Cherry.